Cheers, up you too. Welcome to the coffee pot. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Samantha Lee, who is Tyrese's ex wife, who recently, about a month ago, if you guys can remember, I did a video on this, came out and said that she regrets her divorce. Surprise, but not really. And blamed her influences around her for initiating that divorce and ruining Tyrese's life, which is still in shambles as a result of that horrific divorce. When I say in shambles, I'm talking about him and his finances. Now, she's back in the spotlight again, and she's motivated by a recent interview that Tyrese did with Joe Budden. And in this video that I'm about to play you right now, she has a different tune than she had before. Before, she was trying to get the public and everybody to believe that she was regretful and actually talked about the possibility of Tyrese taking her back and how she'd be okay with that. And of course, he responded back with a hell no and went off on her as he usually does on social media. And after this interview with Joe Budden, that Tyrese just got off of that I really haven't seen the whole thing on. She is triggered. I'm a waste in time. Let's check it out. I'm going to call this one, fool me once, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Fool me twice, shame on me. Let's get into it. Now, this might make some people mad, but it is what it is. Y'all, once you learn what someone is capable of, you have to handle them a little different. Mm. DMX said this and it resonated with me. He said it's too hard not to trust people. Instead, he trusts people to be who they are. He trusts a snake to be a snake. He trusts a liar to lie. He trusts someone who cheats to cheat. I can forgive you for what you've done. And I thank you for showing me what you're capable of because now I know how to handle you. And it will be irresponsible of me to give you the same kind of access knowing what I know now. All right, guys, there you go. There you have it. I forgot to read the caption of the video. It's titled, Samantha Lee shares a video opening up about her hardest lesson following Tyrese's interview with Joe Budden. Now, nobody believed her. No one believed that she actually had changed. Mind you, Tyrese's ex-wife, to my surprise, I found out I'd actually seen a bunch of videos over her claiming to drink coffee, as in she was pushing content of truth within the space of dating and relationships when it comes to men and women things men need to know about the dating market and things women have completely wrong because i don't drink coffee they don't drink coffee right she has this youtube channel and tiktok where she talks to modern women and she sort of takes this approach of don't make the mistake that i did but people weren't buying the change and i don't think this helped either let's check out some of these comments first comment here says this doesn't sound like the same woman who regret getting a divorce yeah, she sounds like she's vindictive and she sounds like she wants some type of revenge. Here's somebody else here who added in her point of view. She says, so her cry for him didn't work because she wanted him back. So now she's resorting to her true nature. Very well put here. Another woman chimed in and said, she just said she regretted divorcing him. And because he responded and basically said, be well, beloved. Now she's attacking him. Mm. Sounds like she couldn't handle the rejection. Goes on to say, I will say it's not all him. I don't know how much is him, but right now it's looking like a lot of her. She's looking like the problem. But are we surprised? Here's somebody else here who added, why are you yelling at us? We don't even know you like that for real. Another commenter here said, she just said a whole lot of BS. Dude don't want access to you. Yeah, why is she, why is she trying to make it sound like Tyrese wanted access to her man goes on to say he just want to know why you need 20k a month to take care of a four-year-old all while you have a six-figure job come on make it make sense all we learned from this rant is that she listened to dmx with the crying emoji here's somebody else who says girl you trusted a bunch of folks to trick you out of your own marriage sit it down slow pope what's interesting here is that like she did show women at least when she kind of was honest she did show women that be careful who you listen to in the heat of the moment don't do what she did which was call your attorney in the middle of a fight with your husband and you know it's just as bad as an attorney when you're arguing with your husband probably getting advice from your single friends come on they don't like that cough put that coffee down 
probably other women who don't have the type of life you want. And I mean, other women who are not celebrities. People hate to hear advice from women who are married because they classify them as pick me's when really most modern women just have unrealistic standards and asking them to be realistic is them lowering their standards right let's check out another comment from another woman that says girl hush you fumbled your marriage listening to your friend who was doing that whack podcast with you titled i once was you you thought you were going to come up but instead you got labeled as crazy <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that suck? She started this whole podcast and thought like it was going to take off and look at me. I learned from my situation. Maybe I'll get, I'll even get my ex-husband back, but no, now people just think you're nuts and you're leaning into the craziness, man. Chill out. She goes on to say, you literally spent 300 days trying to secretly bash Tyrese's current girlfriend. Go take your L and move on. Take the L. You're going to be, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be fine. You might need some cats, then you might be okay. Here's another comment from another man who says, seek therapy and not Instagram. I like that. I like that. Everybody needs therapy, men and women. Another comment here from another woman says, I want to finally hear her side of the story because Tyrese been giving us novels and tantrums for the past five years. But another woman corrected this chick and responded and says she already said she regrets filing for divorce. So clearly there's something she misses or wants to be in the marriage. She told her side of the story. She confessed. That was like a Hail Mary at her thinking that like that was going to revive her clout or content career, uh, change the narrative of how she's being viewed. And she really wasn't supposed to benefit this much from the marriage. For those of you guys who remember, there was a problem with the arbiter who looked over the prenup that Tyrese had, and he wasn't supposed to pay this much. There were mistakes made during the legal process of that that just made her lucky. She got lucky. Another comment here from another woman says, Tyrese just stumped his toe trying to run to his cell phone to make 36 video posts. Yo, I'm Halloween. In response to this, I'm assuming. So Samantha Lee also captioned uh, that video and it said, fool me once, Shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. You can learn a lot about people by how they respond slash react to certain boundaries you set. The funny thing is, some people know how they were doing, in parentheses, probably worse than you ever found out about in the moment, and yet you become the horrible person. So now she's complaining that she's been made the enemy. The villain, she says, in their story because you decide to set a boundary. <laughs> Call me what you want, but you're not going to have full access to me and my heart when you've proven that you can't be responsible or trusted with that kind of access to me and my heart. It is what it is. Oh, here we go. She ends it with the proverb. Proverbs 4.23. God is good. God is good. Goes on to say, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Mm. Yeah. You know. You can tell a lot by people when they when they quote scripture in the Bible and stuff. You can tell a lot about them by the type of verses they choose. You know, if it doesn't highlight their own shortfallings and doesn't highlight a sense of expresso, accountability, then you can tell a lot by that individual. Um, so here's another post, and it looks like this was posted by Tyrese. I just want to make sure that I have this right here. Let me see. Okay. So it says, Zelly needs to stay far away from this interview. If she watches even 10 minutes of this, I promise you all of our Christmas plans will be canceled. So this is probably an intense interview he had. And Zelly, I'm assuming that's, if that's not his current girl, that's his ex-girl. I don't know if they're together or not, man. Tyrese, man, messing with another Instagram model. I would never understand this, man. How he went from this chick to an ig model they probably are still together man but i don't know why he'd be telling his his girl to stay away from it anyways let's keep watching if you've ever been cheated on your girl and publicly exposed don't watch this this will be my last time speaking up my beef the rock tgt my ex my baby mama the crying video you know about that crying video meme after realizing just and, and shout out to the lead attorney for explaining this to People like myself who do not understand the legal sides of this probably can do more research myself, but you know, there's a way that the lead attorney explains it so that it's like palatable for the average person and it's very much appreciated. But understanding just how much 
Tyrese has been effed over. Help me understand why he got on that camera and cried the way that he did. Especially if he's a man who usually um, lent and like would lean into his emotions. I was like, okay, I, I see what was going on here. Caption goes on to say, if you think you're in a relationship with an arrogant narcissist, male or female, don't watch this. I wonder why he would give that disclaimer. Almost makes you want to go watch it more. It goes on to say, if you were dating a singer, rapper, actor, or any serial entrepreneur, and he's a man and he's always on the road, don't watch this. If you've ever questioned your man's sexuality, don't watch this. Damn. For all of you fake mature ninjas who think of your girl as your bestie, don't watch this with your girl. Watch this alone, he says. Yo. Goes on to say, if you have one of those group chats with 30 to 50 on it, don't send this out. You would definitely break ninjas up with their girls before Christmas. I mean, it sounds like we all need to go watch this interview with Joe Budden. I'll definitely be checking out shit. Some marketing over here goes on to say random because I'm convinced that me and LeBron James, AKA King James are Capricorns. Uh, Zodiac signs goes on to say Capricorn besties. Can y'all tag him and make sure he watch this? This is my audition tape for the shop. Now, when I hear grown men start talking about zodiac signs, I start um, second guessing the, their level of caffeination. You feel me, bro? Goes on to say, if you and your girl have been arguing a lot lately, don't watch this. If you're fragile or insecure and you're certified weak, B, don't watch this. If you think the relationship you're in right now is real, don't watch this. If your marriage is on the brink of divorce, don't watch this. If you're a professional baby mama, and you are sticking your baby daddy up right now for money, you're not gonna like me very much. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. All I hear is he's going to be behind the counter serving coffee, black. No cream, no sugar, there's nothing festive or seasonal about what he's brewing. Goes on to say, fellas, if you've had any kind of baby mama drama, I don't care if it was 10 years ago, don't watch this interview. You will be triggered. It's going to F your week up. Wow. You've been warned, he says. You ain't going to listen, but you've been warned. You still there? Trigger warned. All right. That's it, guys. Listen, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think of what's been shared so far? Of course, I'm curious. And I know a few of you just heard that and you're like, I'm going to go check out this interview. And if you have watched it, please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.